Uh, here we go, big 130, uh, 170 million dollar blockbuster based like Transformers on a Hasbro tie line, and 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 we've got Stephen Sommers on, uh, directing the man who gave us Van Helsing. And you've said yourself, this is a big kid driven kind of movie. Yeah. Sure. What what would have grabbed you? Just the idea that this is a big big movie, and so it's going to be a different experience, or the characters. Or? I think it's different than all the like tentpole movies that are out there, like in, in you know Transformers, the Dark Knights, you know the. Uh, Star Wars or Star Trek, uh, it's just got a different tone than all of them. Uh, you know, and, and Steven has his own his own thing that he does, and it's kind of his t trademark, I guess, on all Steven. his movies. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, he just has fun with it. It's still dramatic, and it's still big, huge action. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I would have ran to see this movie. Uh, you know, I had the same feeling that when I came out of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, it's just that fun kind of young, young feeling that you makes you just feel you know, like a kid again. Yeah, Steven has this ability to take a franchise that could go rated R and make it like rated E for everybody. I mean, this movie, re literally, my son would love it, my daughter will love it, my girlfriend will love it, and I'll love it. And, you know, I, I saw it and it plays to everybody. I think that's the unique thing about Steven. The one thing that the internet and, and, and Thompson from Variety kind of made the point that, you know, the internet tends to sort of exaggerate whether it be, you know, good stories or bad stories. They kind of start a fire and they go with it. And this got a, a, a kind of a shitstorm going on before it got released. I don't know whether you guys were aware of that, whether you felt sort of defensive because a lot of people are passing judgment before they've even seen the film. There's a, this kind of happens with the net a lot where people just decide they yeah. made up their minds about something. You know, the net is full of people that love to hate, man. And, you know, it's, it's that's that's what it is. It's just the Internet is for cynics. And, you know, the, the, it, they didn't even see the movie, and they were talking nonsense. So it's all about the ideas. Oh, what's that liquid metal? You're ruining my childhood. Stephen Summers, you're dead. <laughs> I'm going to stuff my snake eyes up your butt. And, so and that was you. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> you but, know, it, you know you, go ahead, man. It, but, but really, honestly, you don't... Uh, I... Dare, I challenge anybody after they see this movie, man, you go, wow, this is so much better than I could even imagine. It's, you know, and I'm talking, I'm in it, and I was just like, wow, that this is a lot of fun. So you're not biased at all, right? Not at all. Good man. I ain't got no back end. This is, hey, this, I'm just saying this is a great yeah. movie. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of hurtful because, I mean, look, all we want is people to go see the movie, you know, and, and to enjoy what we do. We try to, we're trying to make people happy, you know, we're trying to do a good job and, and for people just to come out the gate and judge, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's it's a little hurtful, but I mean, you're kind of just like, all right. I mean, I guess I'm just gonna go try to do as best as I can possibly do and try to make. Yeah, them you're happy, judging you know it before I mean? you see it. You know, what I mean, it's like you know, a girl telling you, you know, you got a small Johnson and she ain't check it out yet. You know, come on, girl. I should get a little individual things. I think your your birthday's tomorrow, right? Yeah, man. Any, wow. any plans? Are you kind of I don't know. You'll be on this obviously this tour. So I'll be in Berlin, man. I heard it's a great party in Berlin. Happy there birthday to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I wish I was in Ireland. I heard it's a great party out there. A Guinness Always. stout for everybody. I want all of Ireland and Marlon to just raise their Guinness stout glasses in the air and say, happy birthday, Marlon. Rock and roll. Yes. And for you, Channing, the, uh, if you had a Colonel Tom Parker behind you, you probably would have stopped you getting married because you're at that point where your career is kind of building and building and building and you know, you're becoming a, a solid leading man in that sense that leading men are supposed to be available to their fans. So when you get married, it's kind of puts a Colonel Tom Parker kind of uh, gets very cross. But He's that's Elvis, where... Elvis's, uh, 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 manager. He was always trying to make oh, sure that got it, got it. the girls kind of got an impression that he was always ready and available for them. But that's where you have y your best friend come into place. Mm. That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what the wingman is for. You know, hey, he's married. Right. But I'm not... <laughs> no, you know, I mean, I, I don't know. Look, I love my life uh, a lot more than I love my career. And, you know, I'm never going to I'm never going to sit there and be like, well, this might not be good for my career. You know, look, I love my wife. And, uh, you know, it's I, I don't I, won't, I don't do anything with career in, in, in mind first. You know, nothing in my life. It's, it's, it's just there's too many things that you just be you, you would. I don't know. You just you wouldn't be happy. I don't think if you ran your whole life injunction to what would be conducive for your career. And I think, you know, he made a great move. You know, it's hard to find a great girl like Jenna. And if he didn't snatch it up, somebody else was. <laughs> and he was very smart, man. You don't keep I'm a good watching. fish in the water. <laughs> I didn't say I was. <laughs> Why are you starting beef between friends? 
<laughs> I should mention your parents, Howl, Howl and Alvira, they sort of put the balls with the shame. They managed to produce about 47 kids who They'll all... make you a couple more. They, my mom was the first octo mom, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She's Deche but, mom. You don't want none of that. Their background, like your, your, your dad's a supermarket manager, your mom's social worker. Where, where did this come from? Because it just seems like everybody in the family just got this kick to, to go off and make movies and do <laughs> comedy. And My mother was really funny. And, and, and only when she's mad, right? She's hilarious. She's like Richard Pryor with like breast. And my father That's is funny. really silly, but he's real annoying. And what he would do was annoy the hell out my mother. She would curse him the hell out. They had sex and <laughs> boom, here we are. And we call them the creative producers because they create the producers. And it's not like, they, you know, we was like the Jackson family where there's like, you know, you, you better be funny or you ain't gonna eat. You know what I mean? It was just more or less... We, it's just something my brother Keenan went and did, and I think his influence really influenced us to want to be in this this business. Um, watching him in my television as a kid going, wow, I could do this? My brother is in the TV, you know what I mean? And I, 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 if, look, if Keenan would have been a crackhead, we'd, we'd, we'd be talking about the Wayne's family. All 10 of you are in jail. <laughs> All 10 of you are smoked out, you know, but thank God he's a you know, writer, producer, actor, and, you know. But of course, most, most people's talents and good looks and all that come from having Irish blood. And I know that for you, Channing, it's it's Native American, French, and Irish. I think yep. is yeah, mm -hmm. which sounds like a wonderful night. Yeah, but um, exactly. I, I, I don't know. That sounds like so <laughs> what a party. <laughs> <laughs> Can we rewind <laughs> back in time? <laughs> and Wayne's, back. Wayne's is obviously from Cork. That sounds like a Cork name. Yeah, no, so Wayne's much. is we're, we're, we're uh, black. If you didn't know this. Right. I'll check my no. notes, Wayne. I'll just make you sure. You lied to me. Notes. We're black. Yes, it says it here. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> we're black. We're uh, a little bit of uh, Indian, a little bit of uh, Cherokee, and Irish. My granddad uh, was a Brock. My, my great-great-granddad was Brock, and he was an Irishman. And, uh, you know, so we have a little bit of Irish in my blood, and that's why I woke up one day, and I was like, I, I just want some... <laughs> Guinness, for some yeah, reason. Some yeah, and uh, Guinness, <laughs> and do you know where yours comes from, Channing? I don't know if you ever I don't, been told. You know, I, I do want to do that uh, that history search one day. Uh, I'm, I'm getting to go to Scotland soon, so maybe I'll take a little trip. Cool. You know, and uh, and I haven't been in Europe a lot, so I want I want to go to make that little that research. Cool. Well, let us know. We put the kettle on if ever you. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, lovely to meet you guys. Take yeah, it easy, man. Yeah, yeah. Absolute pleasure. So. Have fun on your. Uh, you're in Scotland next, is it or no? Yes. Yeah. I go, to, I go to Scotland to do a, a movie.